What's going on everyone? Anthony here with HD Toys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are continuing on with Power Month with another Power Rangers Lightning Collection review. And today's review will be Mighty Morphin Rita Pulsa, uh, but the deluxe version, not the two-pack exclusive uh, GameStop version that we got a few years ago. So as you can see here, it is in the deluxe style box. Uh, you have the Power Rangers Lightning Lection logo right there in the top right. Mighty Morphin Reader Repulsa down there at the bottom left. You have some kind of 3D artwork right here. 3D rendering of the figure itself. Uh, hopefully the face sculpt uh, on this figure looks as good as this. A lot of people are saying that it is a very good head sculpt. Uh, you have more of that artwork right here with the 30th anniversary logo. Uh, bio, or not bio, but like more 3D artwork of the figure right here. Uh, you have a little quick Descript uh, 6.7 inches according to the box. I would assume that is to the top of her hair. Uh, all the accessories she comes with. Uh, 30th anniversary logo right there. Legalese at the bottom. Barcode if you guys want to go ahead and scan this and see if you can start finding them in your local Targets or Walmarts. But Power Rangers logo at the top. Anyways, enough of the box. Let's go ahead and crack her open and hope she's as good as she is on the box. Okay, and here we have her out of packaging and right off the bat I can already tell why she was put into uh, the deluxe line instead of a regular uh, you know, basic series line. Uh, at the same time uh, I can kind of see where they kind of pushed the envelope to be able to put this into the deluxe wave, but we'll get more into that towards the end of the video in the overview. Uh, but so let's go ahead and start with her accessories, uh, which is one of the main reasons why she is in the deluxe because she does come with quite a few and uh, basically a complete new retooling of her head sculpt. So let's just go ahead and set her back here real quick. Uh, so first and foremost, she comes with a little lightning blast effect, uh, as all of these uh, figures tend to do. Uh, and this basically goes with her other accessory, her bow staff, uh, which... If you could tell right away that it has way, way more paint deco than the original release one, and uh, which is goes to show you why this is being pushed into the deluxe wave. Uh, this figure all around has a lot more paint deco. You basically just kind of like stick that onto here like so. It doesn't go on very well, uh, but when you put it on like that, you can kind of put her in that little posing throw like she's about to make her monster grow. So yeah, very cool. Uh, then right next up you have her two uh, kind of like well one posing hand on her and one weapon holding hand on her out of factory she has one pointing figure you guys can see that nice painted gold details on the hands for the rings great choice in gold that they went with uh, then a close fisted hands with more gold paint details then you have Another kind of like open hand uh, to match her one that she's already on her out of factory. Same gold paint details on the ring. And then a weapon holding hand for the other side to match the one that comes out of factory. More of that great paint gold details. Very cool. Uh, so I think this figure has the most hand accessories that any figures have came with, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, then next up. Uh, we have, I think what made really push this into the deluxe wave is the retooling of her head sculpt. Let's see if I can pop this off real quick. So you would just think that maybe this is just a regular head sculpt and then she came with a bunch of, uh, or like two other, not a bunch of, uh, two other head sculpts. But like to make two or three different head sculpts of this style head uh, with just slight face changes, I guess, wasn't in the budget. Uh, which is fine because the way they did it is actually quite genius. It basically takes uh, from SH Figure Arts. You basically just kind of like reach under here and pop off the faceplate. And then just kind of like pull that out. And then right there you have all these expressions to choose from. So you kind of have like this more just kind of like grimace smirk look on her out of factory. Then you have like this little uh, like she kind of gives whenever like something bad happens and... Yeah, really good. These face paint or face sculpting is done really, really nice. And then you have her menacing laugh on, which I think this is the one I will be posing her with. And you just kind of like pop that back on, uh, on the face as you saw, or not on the face, on the head sculpt you saw that there was a keyway uh, that this key slot plugs into. So that way uh, you just pop it in and off. But yeah, this head sculpt is amazing, guys. And then just like that, you have a whole new look for your Rita Repulsa. 
So yeah, those are the accessories she came with. Uh, let's go ahead and look at details of the figure of the figure itself. So moving on to the details of the figure, as you can tell, uh, most overall, it's about the same figure, just with better, better paint deco. Uh, this is a new dress actually compared to the old one. I believe the old one didn't have like this double stitching here at the bottom. Uh, but more or less it's the same design except this one actually has the gold detailing around the dress as to where the original release had silver which I believe was inaccurate to show but I think they were kind of going for like a silver anniversary thing going on with that set. Uh, I believe their anniversary that they were celebrating was the silver anniversary if I'm not mistaken but this is the more uh, screen accurate uh, color scheme uh, along with the uh, the little whatever this thing is it's the exact same as the original just done in a much better gold and a much better black to blue fade across the collar of it uh the browns in the wrap are done much darker which i prefer the golds once again much brighter uh the red is much more prominent right here on the jewel on her crown uh she does come with uh pinless knees uh which isn't too big of a deal because you can't see it with the dress anyways but I just think that's the way they're going now uh still single jointed elbows but mm, I'll get into that during articulation overall more or less it is the exact same figure just done with better paint deco and yeah I can't complain uh if you guys want to see her how she looks with the staff just port that in like so and yeah so uh, an issue with mine is, is that her arms seem to be a tad loose. Either that or the staff is just too heavy for her to hold. Uh, so it doesn't quite hold up very well. It just kind of like wants to like lean towards one way or another. But I can mess with that later with some, uh, some like glue or something. Not glue, but stuff to like stiffen up the joints. But yeah, really great figure. The face sculpt. Uh, alone, I think, is a huge, huge improvement compared to the I don't know what was going on with that old one, but that was, you know, very early on in the line. Uh, so I kind of, like, let that one slide uh, that they, you know, they don't have, like, good, good archive data for, like, the uh, Japanese actress that played her. But overall, this one, I think, truly, truly makes up for it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to articulation. So moving on to articulation, uh, she has her typical ball jointed head. Uh, this one is on the newer style neck joint uh, where the base of the neck does also move. Uh, so that is different from the other one. Uh, she can look up about that far, down an okay amount, gets lots of side to side wiggle room, left, right, yada, yada, yada. Uh, now this upper half of the figure is an older style female figure, uh, which I don't understand why. If you're going to go this far out and charge a deluxe price for a figure you've already re-released once, you might as well just give her double elbows and butterfly joints. Because uh, I feel like with the dress in here, it does kind of like, it doesn't hinder it, but like it, you never know which way the elbows are facing. You got to kind of like mess around with it. And she doesn't get like a full range of motion with a single, but she does have that. The elbow does rotate left and right if you need that. Uh, the wrists will swivel full 360, hinge in and out all the way depending on where you have it because these braces will kind of like hinder it a little bit, but they are rotatable. Uh, upper diaphragm, uh, well, moving okay amount, not too bad. Lower ab crunch, right here, if you guys can see, i pull this dress up, so yeah. Lower ab crunch. Splits will go all the way, has no issues even with the dress, if that's how you want to do it. Upper thigh swivel, full 360, double jointed knees, pinless, boot cuff, ankle rockers, left, right, forwards, backwards, peggles at the bottom. So yeah guys, uh, lower half is definitely on the newer style. Uh, the neck up is definitely a newer style, but like the mid torso is more or less the same as the older Ranger figures. Uh, definitely needed double elbows on this figure if you ask me because as you can see I'm trying to figure out which way the elbow is because I rotate it and it is rotated that way so there you go have that back up and yeah there you go 
articulation done uh kind of a hit or miss definitely for the price point they should have just threw in the new upper body mold of a female figure uh but you know that's just me so let's go ahead and move on to size comparisons so for the first size comparison here we have her obviously right next to the original reader repulsa wave uh and then a putty patroller as you could tell this figure is leaps and bounds ahead of the original figure just based off this head sculpt alone and the paint deco now as you can see this is still a really good figure uh if you have the original do you really need the new ones for the head sculpt uh that's really kind of up to you but if you guys want there you go side by side comparisons hopefully uh you can tell how terrible this old face sculpt is uh compared uh next to uh her original or the new release which at the time it wasn't that bad in retrospective it wasn't great <laughs> by any means uh but for what it was i guess for the it coming out so early in the line there you go so moving on okay so here we have her next to the remastered trini figure and the remastered billy figure uh i'm really hoping that the reason they went with these faceplate one is to give her more faceplate options without having to do a whole new head sculpt but uh maybe a robo rita down the line uh, i don't know what they would do with the hair they probably just like retool that in some way uh to make it look more robotic but anyways there you go next to some rangers okay and last up let's go ahead compare her to mighty minotaur of the other deluxe figure in this line uh if you guys are unaware that the deluxe figures from this line as of right now come in a pair one normally it used to be i think it was like uh two monsters uh, but now it's just basically one monster and then a single release figure kind of forced into the deluxe line somehow with like either a lot of accessories or some type of vehicle. Uh, but yeah, they don't, you don't get two monsters anymore, which is kind of a shame because I'd much rather finish this monster collection because I truly, truly love the monsters. Uh, but this guy's review will be up tomorrow or sometime later this week. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, let's move on to final thoughts. So moving on to final thoughts, is she a pickup? Is she a pass? Honestly, guys, I highly recommend this figure. It is a great figure, almost borderline SH figure arts level with the amount of accessories and paint deco. Uh, the articulation just isn't there yet. If she would have had the upper body of the new female mold with the butterfly joints and the double jointed pinless elbows, I think this would have been the perfect figure and definitely a top contender for like the top three figures that will be released this year. Um, just based off this head sculpt alone, it's done amazingly. Uh, I I wish she would have came with like some other accessories. Uh, I didn't need this many hands. It's nice to have this many hands for like you know toy photography, but because Mighty Minotaur came with like a uh, a clay version of himself that you can kind of give to Finster, I wish she would have came with the other clay figures that were, you know. From the other monsters that we got in the line before they started doing this so you know like snizzard perantis head well i guess perantis head may not have been since that was the season two but like you know king sphinx pudgy pig like a little clay uh figure of those would have been i think the cherry on top for this figure this would have been like the ultimate must buy figure for me at least uh and probably would have pushed it into the number two or number one spot but just like Hasbro, they always fall short of perfection. Uh, but either way, this is still a great figure. I highly recommend. I got mine from BBTS, but I also think Amazon started shipping theirs out uh, this week and last week as well. So I'll leave links down below where you can order yours if that's what you want. If not, possibly wait on a sale. Uh, I hate to say it. I truly do. But these deluxe figures always go on sale. There has not been a deluxe figure uh, of current releases that have not gone on sale at Target. Uh, on an average of like 15 to 16 dollars half price on the uh, lowest end i've seen them go for like eight dollars uh for a deluxe figure whether it be the monster or like one of the figures with the bike uh but you never know mmpr tends to sell out a lot of people missed out on rita the first time around because they started late in the game uh and this is a much better rita to get hopefully we can get a much more uh uh better zed in like i don't know like pinless body mold with like much more details on his like face to make it more of that original like scariness uh but anyways uh i'm dragging on uh happy power month everyone and until next time later